Let me now turn, Mr. Speaker, if I may, to an issue that is more parochial, uh, but where the outlook is more promising. That's the federal response to the so-called McGirt decision by the United States Supreme Court. Uh, many members will not uh, be aware of this, but last year the Supreme Court decided that much of Oklahoma, uh, for the purposes of criminal prosecution, remains Indian country. In Indian country, only the federal government and tribal law enforcement um, uh, officials can prosecute Indians who commit crimes, again, in, on Indian reservations. That obviously in the state of Oklahoma will now call for enormously more robust federal law enforcement and tribal law enforcement capabilities. I'm happy to report that in one of the measures that we face today, that request has been taken into, that reality has been taken into account. Uh, frankly, our friend, the Biden administration, are asked for $70 million additional dollars for the Department of Justice to finance additional uh, U.S. attorneys, additional uh, uh, federal marshals, and additional FBI for Oklahoma to respond to the McGirt decision. Sadly, uh, our friends did not request similar funds for tribal law enforcement to, uh, officials, and none of the bills in front of us actually deal with that issue. Last night, we placed a, a, an amendment dealing with this before this House. It was part of an en bloc amendment. I actually believe it had been, if it had come on its own, it would have passed, but it failed. However, the appropriations process is a long process, and I think negotiations in good faith with the uh, full committee will eventually result in additional federal uh, dollars for law enforcement. Regardless, that Supreme Court decision, the McGirt decision, means the federal government and tribal law enforcement officials must do more in this area. Again, one of the bills in front of us helps uh, with regard to the federal government. I'm hopeful in the final negotiations we can do more on McGirt. 